Hello everybody, welcome. I'm going to walk you through a quick example of uh, calculating net income and operating cash flow uh, using Excel. So pretty straightforward question here, uh, net income, operating cash flow. We have uh, the example here, Rainbow Umbrella Corp. Sales of 630000 and uh, the rest of the givens, uh, cost of goods sold, administrative expense, selling expense, depreciation, interest, and the tax rate are all given right here. Okay, so here's your cost of goods sold, administrative expense, depreciation, and interest expense, tax rate 21%. So let's jump into this, okay? So uh, we'll jump right down here, calculating A's net income. We bring sales down to $630,000. We bring your cost down of uh, $465,000, cost down of $85,000 of uh, selling and administrative expenses, $135,000 uh, in depreciation expense. So this is this is a simple calculation here. All we have to do to calculate EBIT, our first component here, sales minus cost of goods sold minus uh, administration expenses minus depreciation expense. Uh, we have those four components in there. Enter, we have an EBIT of negative $55,000. So that's the first component that we, we get through there. Uh, the second component, again, I've just dropped down our interest expense here. This was given. So we have an interest expense of uh, $70,000. So to get to our earnings before taxes, simply we take EBIT minus uh, our interest expense. Uh, let's just click on that. And that's going to be a negative $125,000. So we get down to our, our next line item here to get to net income, and that's going to be taxes. So taxes uh, are either going to be uh, the max of, of two numbers. Okay, so we could just put equals max there. Equals max either of uh, this number here, negative $125,000 multiplied by this 21%, okay, or it's going to be or zero. And in this case here, we could close that parenthesis here, hit enter, it's gonna be zero there. So uh, we knew that already going into that we could have just entered zero, but uh, we could e easily enter that uh, max uh, function there uh, to ensure that we put the right uh, number in there depending upon uh, our calculations. Net income, once we get the, uh, the, our taxes put in there, our net income is simply gonna equal this uh, earnings before taxes minus any taxes that we pay on that. Uh, again, it's gonna be the same number that we had in EBIT because our taxes were zero. So there's our net income uh, uh, component, negative $125,000. That's the first part of the question. The second part of the question now says, well, what's the operating cash flow? Well, we've already calculated EBIT, right? So we're to, to, to get the, the, the operating cash flow, uh, we really need three numbers in this case. We need EBIT. Uh, depreciation and taxes and uh, most of you guys uh, should be familiar with how we can put those three components together to get the operating cash flow so the first component goes in here uh, as EBIT so I'm just going to say this equals B17 that's negative $55,000 depreciation uh, is going to equal uh, our component up here I'm just going to throw this in the cell here and taxes is simply going to equal our tax component here so we have our three numbers in there now we need to calculate what the operating cash flow is or OCF was for, for this company. And so you should remember that that the formula is simply EBIT plus depreciation, right? Depreciation uh, is a non-cash expense, okay? So this is gonna make a big difference between our operating cash flow number and our net income number that we just calculated up top. And the last component is minus taxes, it's zero. It's not gonna have any impact uh, in our case here. We hit enter and we can see that the operating cash flow is positive $80,000, right? So here in this example, we have a net income of negative 125, operating cash flow of positive 80. The difference because of that uh, is referred or determined by this depreciation expense, a non-cash expense. That's why we have that difference, okay? So that's a simple example of doing net income and operating cash flow uh, in Excel. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a quick uh, comment or question below. Thank you.